The Bethungra range proved an obstacle to early locomotives on the Melbourne to Sydney line. The solution was the Bethungra Spiral. The main line coming north after Wagga Wagga joins the Olympic Highway at Tunee and stays with it to Bethungra. That's the spiral that gets it over the range before the line proceeds to Cootamundra and on to Sydney. The spiral is a 360 degree spiral on the up line heading north from Melbourne and Junee. It starts at the top left of the picture and ends at the bottom right of the picture. The grey ribbon along the right side of the spiral is the Olympic Highway. It's only the up line that spirals round the range. The down line from Sydney runs straight down the range. Let's take a look at how it works before we examine it in more detail. We start with the up line because that's what the spiral is all about. The track goes wide as it approaches the spiral. It crosses the down line and itself before completing the 360 degree spiral and then has to cross the down line again to come in alignment with it. The down line basically runs straight down the range but has to cross the up line twice in order to do so. In this diagram, again start at the top left. The up line in blue first goes wide to come into the spiral. It crosses the down line and itself before completing the spiral. It then crosses over itself again and then over the down line. From the bottom right, the down line in red first crosses the up line twice before squeezing its way between two levels of the up line. Notice that beside the highway there are three tracks running closely parallel to one another, albeit on three different levels. The bottom track closest to the highway and the top track are both the up line. The track in the middle is the down line. So armed with these insights, let's take another look at the trains on the up and down lines.